guess you just caught me spinning the rope a thousand miles a second. That's why it only looked like it was spinning slow. Because it was so fast. Today, we're doing some agility work and we're working on a tutorial that's gonna show you how to do the feet side to side move and the feet front to back move. Now this is a very important skill because it ups your badassery and makes you look cool, leading to um, you know more interactions with men or women. So it's fantastic. Well, what do you say, Crow? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm serious now. Let's do this. All right, dudes and dudettes, first up, we got the feet front to back, and I'm just going to run through it here as I talk about the most important thing. So most of you who are new, you will see me talk about the, the fundamentals of doing regular bounce and its importance at the beginning of every tutorial. If you watch me here, from my waist up, my elbows are in, my wrists are jutting out to the sides of my hips. There's very little movement. There's no, basically no shoulder movement. Everything is being controlled by my wrists. And here you can see it from a, from a different angle. And this is how it's gonna be for any exercise that we do, guys. Now, I stress this all the time. People have seen this before, like, oh my God, Dan, I'm so tired of you talking about it. But honestly, guys, if you do not get down the regular bounce and get it down super fast, like you're able to do it super fast, it's going to hurt your other tricks. So the fundamentals of regular bounce are super important. So little movement in the upper body, elbows are in, wrists are jutting out from the sides of the hips, and you are controlling the rope with, with your wrists. Now, let's go into the footwork for feet front to back. Shift the feet horizontally, because that's a word that I just made up. Now, when I say horizontally, what I mean is little steps and shifts horizontally backwards and forwards, you're not picking your feet up high. Check that out, just shifting it. Not even, it's it's only about seven to eight inches forward and back. So check me out again here. Now this is not how you wanna do it. You don't wanna jump up vertically in the air because you're gonna hurt your knees and frankly, you're not gonna be able to do this very fast and you're gonna get tired really fast. So there again, shifting the feet horizontally forwards and backwards. Let's put it together, ladies and gentlemen. Notice how I got the regular bounce going in my upper body. My shoulders have no movement. My wrists are controlling the entire thing. And then all I'm doing, guys, this this is not a huge deviation from the regular bounce. It's just sh uh, quick, short motions with the feet. And you'll see here in a second that it's the same for feet side to side. But like anything, guys, this is just something that you have to practice. Get the, the fundamentals of regular bounce down. And then what I would recommend is throw in a little uh, shift step, which is putting a, you know one foot back, one foot forward, maybe every three to five jumps if you're just starting out until you can get them consecutively like I am doing here. So name of the game is practice, guys. I was bad when I started and I just kept doing it until one day I was like, good. So do the same thing. You know what I'm going to say, so I'm not going to say it again. Regular bounce from the waist up, it never ever changes unless we're doing something like a crisscross. Now, the one thing that you'll notice here is check my knees out. This is how you want to do this. My knees stay in. They are not coming out with my legs. Quick, short, horizontal steps, not big and out like I'm doing here. See how much, that's, how much work I'm putting into that? It's totally unnecessary and not required. So check it out here, guys. If you see, I am just going, my feet are just slightly shifting out to the right and to the left. That's the feet front to back and feet side to side. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please post comments below and uh, ask some questions if you have them. Also, guys, we have a seven-day free jump rope challenge where we teach you some of these tutorials and how to put this into a workout that can help you lose a ton of weight, a ton of body fat, because personally, I used to be a fat guy, Brennan used to be a fat guy, and we were both able to lose a ton of weight using things like the jump rope and body weight exercises to get more efficient workouts in. So that link is below. We will see you on the next Zendude Fitness jump rope tutorial, y'all.